It is Thursday, April 25th, 2024. This is your top stories, evening edition. Coming to you, Dana Malcolm and Rashid Esson with the news that matters most. Coming up after this. Under the patronage of the Premier, the Honorable Charles Washington Mizze and Mistress Delthea Mizze. Turks and Caicos, brace yourself for Gia Pierre. March on the story of us. He is smart and handsome, a world traveler. World traveler? Please, that boy being in London and Spanish world. It will keep you at the edge of your seat. Oh, she's so special. And it's a real hair. She really special for true. First time I ever know synthetic hair is grow all the humans. With our signature scandal you love. You mad because I got a woman to love me for free. And you gotta pay for that. The Tour, Turks and Caicos. May 10th at 8 p.m. May 11th at 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. At Brayton Hall, Providentialis, Turks and Caicos. They just don't trust Chinese restaurants, but owned by Bahamians. When you look, the sweet and sour pork come with peas and grits. Oh, oh my. Admission, $60 general, $75 VIP. Tickets available now at Basic Essential, Elite Plaza, Airport Road. Phone 941-5876. Gia Pierre, march on. As the government promotes a land amnesty to regularize homeowners, residents are questioning how they can celebrate stripping commercial land from a TC Islander in the same breath. Distasteful is how residents are describing the press release from the Attorney General's office, which highlighted the reverting of land from business owner Gilbert Selver to TCIG as a major victory in the unlawful occupation of Crown Land. TCIG has been awarded not just the land, but the business that Selver built on top. The Crown claims that Selver had received several notices to stop using the land. In a response to the ruling, Selver decried the new Crown land ordinance as corrupt. Why the government went after the business owner so doggedly for the two parcels of land is unclear, but residents are now worried about how the ruling will affect those in similar situations re pre-2012 land ownership contracts. Selver contends that his case is an example for all islanders and maintains he will fight for justice. Destroy my back and my leg. I build this one stone at a time. You ain't fighting for Flossy son alone. You're fighting for the names that you don't see that will be homeless, leave nothing for the generation. And they will become sufferers in their own land. We spoke briefly to his attorney, who confirmed they will be going to the Privy Council as the decision has implications for dozens of other islanders. Later, what the PDM has to say. Magnetic Media is your news leader. Rashid Esson is still to come. He has news from around the region. There is simply nowhere else in the Turks and Caicos Islands that you can find such a wholesome variety of your favorite fresh food. There is simply nowhere else in the Turks and Caicos Islands that you can find such outstanding service. And there is simply nowhere else in the TCI to answer your every food craving in a chic, comfortable, centrally located store. That's a place you can trust. Number one is Graceway IGA. Fresh service trust for over 20 years. It's now time for your regional top stories. I'm Rashid Essen. A check of over 110 million Ghanese dollars, which is over 500,000 US dollars, was presented to President Irfan Ali at a handover ceremony on April 23 in support of Palestine for humanitarian efforts, according to reports. The money raised by Muslims and non-Muslims comes after an appeal by the National Ramadan Village during the month of Ramadan. It will be sent to the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees to help the victims of the ongoing war. New data from the Pan-American Health Organization PAHO indicates that dengue in the region may hit an all-time high, now over 4 million cases, a 260% increase from 2023, with over 1,700 deaths registered since mid-April. In fact, since April, reports say Brazil has reported the most cases. As a result of the surge in cases, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, reissued its Level 1 Travel Health Advisory for the Americas on April 18, 2024, and the countries listed include the Turks and Caicos, Guadeloupe, and French Guiana as they have been seeing higher-than-usual levels of infection. Jamaica's stores and product is being enhanced with a new all-inclusive Rio resort called the Rio Palace Aquarelle, scheduled to open on May 4 at White Bay Beach in Falmouth. 
As reported by Caribbean Journal, the destination will house 750 rooms and will promote the country's green transition, having 800 solar photovoltaic panels, saving up to 10% of the hotel's energy use. Magnetic Media is your news leader. Century 21 Arishar Properties is your best resource for buying or selling any real estate in the Turks and Caicos Islands, whether it's a condo, house, villa, commercial property, or vacant land. Century 21 TCI can assist you with your real estate needs. No matter the sign, keep Century 21 Arishar Properties in mind. Call 649-941-7368 or email your friends at century21tci.com. The People's Democratic Movement is expressing its displeasure following a Court of Appeal ruling that stripped land from businessman Gilbert Selver to place it back in the hands of the government. Astwood described the ruling as far from a win and cited the fact that TCIG is seeking ways to regularize squatters while, quote, in the same breath, taking everything from a Turks and Caicos Islander. Astwood claims that the ruling proves the law is disproportionately skewed against locals and is now calling on the government to instruct the Crown Land Unit to reach a settlement with Selver. The case of Nicholas Twyman, an Indiana visitor who was killed in Grand Turk in 2018, will go before the coroner's court this week. Twyman was only 16 at the time of his death, and his family alleges neither Carnival or the jet ski operators who had rented him the ski that he was thrown from tried to assist him when he got into an accident, colliding with another. The TCI coroner has called for an inquest into the 2018 death. If criminal liability is found, charges can be laid. Twyman's family has sued Carnival Cruises over his death, indicating they were not given enough instructions when using the jet skis. According to that lawsuit filed in Florida, not only were no emergency services or lifeguards present on the scene when his father pulled him from the water after his crash, Twyman's mother, a registered nurse, they say, had to instruct the EMTs who arrived on how to use certain medical implements. That is it for this edition of the news. Thank you so much for joining us on behalf of myself, Dana Malcolm, and Rashid Esson as well as the entire news team. Top Stories in 5 is a magnetic media production.